Okay, so I want to, uh, I'm going to break up this into a couple of different parts. Um, so the next workshop we're going to do is uh, called Trip Planner Static UI. Um, and the reason why it's not just called Trip Planner is that there's actually three trip planners that we're going to do. Um, and they're all going to be built where the one is going to lead right into the other one. So the first one we're going to do is our Trip Planner Static UI. And this is basically going to be setting up an express application with a mongoose backend. We're going to end up using some uh, SaaS uh, middleware. Um, and we're, we're going to set, we're going to end up setting our UI up. Um, so we're going to get it to look the way we want it to look. We're going to be, uh, you're going to be using some of the things that you learned with uh, shoestring uh, in order to get your uh, application to look the way that it's supposed to look. Um, the other thing that we're going to end up doing is we're going to integrate um, Google Maps into this. So, so the, the basic um, uh, functionality here is that you're going to be able to uh, create a, an itinerary. And again, most of this you're not going to do in this workshop, but the end goal is to have um, three different entities that you're working with. You're going to be working with uh, hotels, so that's going to be some place to stay. You're going to work with restaurants, place to eat, and you're going to work with activities. And you're going to basically plan a trip out where for a given day, you're going to be able to select a hotel, select a number of restaurants, and select some activities. And that's the direction that we're going to be going, going in. There's going to be a lot of client-side functionality uh, that's built in. Again, this is not stuff that you're going to be doing for um, this particular workshop. The next workshop is going to have uh, the majority of the client-side code, which is going to be Trip Planner Live UI. And the third uh, step is actually where you're going to be able to sort of persist these trips uh, into your database. And that's going to be the persistence uh, part of it. But so this is really a setup part. You are going to be setting up your uh, your back end, your mongoose to hold your uh, again your hotels, your restaurants, and your activities. Again, these are going to be all the things that a user can end up uh, choosing from. Um, and the the other thing that we're going to talk about that makes this a little bit more complicated is the idea that we're going to be doing some nested schemas with, with Mongoose. So I'm going to uh, just, again, I wanted to just give you an overview of this workshop. You're going to really be going through this step by step. Um, and, you know, you're going to be setting up Express. You're going to be setting up your models. There's a script to see the database. You're going to set some routes up. Um, you're going to end up pulling in Bootstrap. You'll end up pulling in jQuery. Um, and uh, you'll end up uh, doing some uh, tasks that you'll use to compile your SAS. We're going to use a, a module called um, a lib SAS, which is going to do that. And the sort of uh, one of the last things you'll do is actually bring in the Google Maps API just to bring it in. There's not going to be a lot of coordination. It's just going to end up showing a map at this point. So really for this, in terms of what your end functionality uh, that you're going to have here is that, in essence, you're going to have a drop-down list of all your hotels, a drop-down list of all your restaurants, a drop-down list from all your activities. Again, these are all going to be coming from the, uh, from the back end, um, and a map that is uh, functional in the sense that it's showing up on the page, but there's not going to be any interaction. Eventually, what's going to happen is that when you end up uh, selecting uh, these different entities, uh, each of these entities has uh, uh, coordinates associated with them that will end up showing up on the map. So that's what the sort of end goal is. And, and maybe in this uh, another workshop, I'll actually pop up an example so you can see it. Although I think in one of the other workshops, we sort of show what it should end up looking like. Um, so you're going to walk through this process in order to... Uh, create this. Some of this stuff you've seen already. It's not new to you. Again, it's we've had some practice setting up an Express app. Uh, we've had some practice setting up models. Um, we're going to be using Bootstrap, which we've used before. We've actually created our own version of it. Uh, we're going to use some 
um, build tools in order to serve up our SaaS and start our applications. Um, we're going to uh, end up bringing in Google Maps and, you know, we're going to, the other thing that uh, we probably want to do is to make this responsive. So Bootstrap ends up helping with that. So the next thing that I'm going to take a look at in the, in the next video, and I'm going to upload these a little bit at a time because I have a hard time uh, uploading these uh, larger videos. Um, but the next thing that I want to look at is actually talk a little bit about what it means to be, to have a nested schema in Mongoose and then we'll sort of look a little bit about how I think you should um, plan out how you should end up setting up your models for a trip planner. Because I think that's a big part of this and I think it's a, it can end up getting a little bit confusing.